In this video, we will cover how to use the Divide by Pivot Area tool found in the generic editor of the SMS desktop software. By defining your irrigation types in a management layer, it allows you to manage the field based on potential yield that it may produce based on its varying available resources. This helps when creating variable rate prescriptions and field analysis processes. To begin, create a new map of the field data you would like to reference to divide the pivot areas. This can be an image or boundary layer. Next, create a new generic layer by going to File, New, Generic Layer. In the Select Generic Operation window, select the operation you would like to save the resulting layer to. Or just select one of the generic options and it can be renamed later. Select OK. The generic layer editor will now open with the reference layer you selected. Right now, there is no actual data for us to divide on the map, so we need to copy the reference layer. To do this, go to Special Tools on the right, then select Copy from Layer. On the Select Layer window, confirm this is the data you would like to copy, then select Next. On the Select Layer Objects window, we want to copy the entire field, which is already selected. Click Next. Here on the Copy Options window, you can choose to copy either the spatial data only or spatial data and attributes from the reference layer. We don't need the attributes contained in the boundary map, so we will select Copy Spatial Data Only. Click Finish. Now that we have the reference layer copied, you will find the Divide by Pivot area is now available under Divide Tools on the right. After opening the Divide by Pivot area tool, you will be prompted to confirm the reference layer. Click Next. Then it will confirm the area you would like to use, which is the entire boundary. Click Next. In the Divide by Pivot Area window, there will be two options to place your pivot, Automatically Place and Set Manually. Automatically Place uses the selected layer to fit either a full pivot or partial pivot in the largest area of the field. There will be some options to fine tune this area, but this is just going to be the starter size. Please note that this may take some time as it attempts to try different sizes based on the complexity of your field. Set manually can be used if you know the coordinates of the center pivot as well as the length or radius of the pivot. Once you have made your selection, click Next. In the Pivot Placement window, you can adjust the placement settings to best match the actual placement and coverage. You can use the Adjust Pivot tool to change the pivot using your mouse cursor on the pivot. When you move to the edge of the pivot, you will see a vertical toe-way arrow that allows you to adjust the length of the tower when you hold down the left mouse button and drag to make the adjustment. To move the center of the pivot, hover over the center point and you'll notice that it changes to a four-way arrow. You can then click and hold and move the center. The Snap Radius to Boundary tool will snap the edge of the pivot to the closest edge of the boundary. This fine tunes the placement of the edge of the field when needed. When you have made your adjustments, click Finish. After the pivot has been divided, the software will automatically assign the appropriate irrigation type to the divided areas created which can be adjusted in the data grid. Once you have the desired settings, click Save to save it to the management tree. Now you will be able to use the Divide by Pivot Area tools found in the generic editor of the SMS desktop software. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.